So here's, I'm going to do a review on my, uh, follow-up review on my FT70 dual band C4 FM radio. Uh, I'll point out some of the pluses that I like and some of the minuses. Uh, I've had it for about three weeks and here is the FT65 made by Yesu and it's a dual bander and this is the FT25 two meter only in its drop-in charger. The uh, I'll start off with the FT70. The minuses that I personally find annoying are the uh, the low battery life. It comes with a 1800 milliamp battery and you do about 10 minutes of talking on it and the low battery indicator goes on and but you can still talk for much much longer but not for me I found that you're lucky if you get three four hours out of the current battery that's one of the mind one of the minuses the other thing is with the programming sequence when you if you program this radio via via computer the you what you have to do is basically take the battery off take the battery off uh, plug in your USB cable and then hit the um, uh, or no, power it up with the wall adapter then pull the wall adapter off and as you put it back the wall adapter back in you gotta hit AMS now depending on if you're programming or retrieving the, the memories from here you either hit band to to send or mode to receive uh, from your computer really bizarre way of I don't know what Yesu was thinking um, so the programming sequence with uh, the ADMS software I only used the ADMS software I did not want to use chirp I wanted to go with the official um, software that Yesu came with the radio I didn't want to take any chances and um, that's one of the other minuses. Oh, the other one is it doesn't come with a drop-in charger. Um, the other radio, two radios did come with a drop-in charger. This one d doesn't. And I, that's the only three things that I found annoying with this radio is the battery, the programming sequence, and no drop-in charger. The pluses are it's a great, great C4 entry-level C4 FM radio to get into C4 FM and Wires X. Amazing. For the price and the sensitivity is good come when I hook this radio up to my diamond x50 base dual band in, uh, antenna it has amazing receive much better than these two not not by far but it's 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 much more clear like there's the the background noise is lower on this one than it is those two this is what I found on my specific setup and the other thing I found is really good uh, general receive out of band um, I've plugged in a couple of the uh, the Coast Guard marine frequencies. I've plugged in a couple of other what else to the uh, the the, uh, the local airports, and it does w it's great on AM for receive. So overall, it's it's my everyday carry. It used to be the FT65, uh, but I like this one much better. And the uh, the quality of the audio for the C4FM in wide mode, which I just figured out, or a friend of mine. Uh, uh, explained to me is is amazing on this and my friend bought recently bought an FTM I think it's a 300 and he says that uh, the wide band or the wide voice wide on on these sound amazing so overall I'm happy with it uh, and I'll still keep experimenting with C4 FM and then I'll try wires X on this exactly how to go about doing it but overall it's a great radio other than those three things that I found uh, which can be annoying is the battery life and the programming sequence but the programming sequence once you got it once you got it programmed you don't really have to worry about it again and um, the drop-in charger now for the battery there is a this is an 1800 milliamp battery 1800 um, there's an aftermarket battery from batteries America I believe that is a 2400 milliamp and um, I highly recommend maybe getting that battery. Um, I don't know if Yesu comes with a higher uh, fat, uh, battery than the 1800, but I know Batteries America makes specific batteries for the FT70 that are higher uh, cur uh, power, 1800 milliamps. And uh, I, there's also um, an individual, I think in Europe, that makes... Um, 
a 3D printed case that takes two 18650s uh, eight for the FT70. And I'll put the link in the um, in the in the video for that for that guy. I don't know if the STL files are available for download for people to make their own 3D cases, but I did find one for the uh, FT70, and it comes in a, a bigger case, a uh, 3D printed case. So that's my review on the FT70, and overall, I like it, and I I do recommend it, but it's uh, it has you know those two minuses that um that you could bear with but overall it's a great radio for an everyday carry radio